recognition. Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. Will the clerk please distribute the amendment? Without objection, the reading of the amendment is dispensed with, and the gentleman is recognized for the purpose of explaining his amendment. Mr. Chairman, I would like to urge my colleagues to support my amendment to require the DODIG to submit a report about any political motivations that went into the decision to withdraw U.S. forces from Afghanistan. This amendment is not, is not intended to be an attempt or a shot at President Biden and his administration. This amendment is about figuring out exactly what went wrong and ensuring that the United States never makes a catastrophic mistake like this again. As part of our oversight duties here on Armed Services Committee, we deserve to know what went wrong and if the decisions involved had anything to do with political motivations. The American people deserve to know. We have all heard from our constituents and seen what this, what's been reported on the news. We keep hearing the administration talk about waiting to do an after action report. It's time, it's time for the talk to be done. Let's do our proper oversight duty. Let's get to the bottom of this. And I believe this is a nonpartisan common sense amendment that can be supported by everyone in this room. For those reasons, I strongly urge my colleagues to support this amendment. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Well, I, I'm going to oppose this amendment uh, and oppose it rather, rather strongly. I, I can't speak to the intent, but I can absolutely speak to the effect. You know, to call into question people's political motivations is absolutely an attack on them. In this particular case, as I just alluded to a couple of minutes ago, it is completely and totally wrong. Um, President Biden has had this opinion about Afghanistan for a very long time. Um, his desire to get out of Afghanistan has been stated over and over and over again. And the notion that he was politically motivated to do it by some pressure other than what he honestly thought was the right policy is frankly offensive. You know, one of the big problems that we have in this job is we're constantly attacking each other outside of substance, outside of, no, like, here, I disagree with this. You know, and let me just say, by the way, parenthetically, this committee does a much better job of that. Um, you shot about Amazon in Seattle notwithstanding. By and large, we do a very good job on that, uh, of, of focusing on the substance of the issue. Was this the right decision? Was it carried out correctly? Was it right? Was it wrong? Am I with them or am I not? But when you say that it was politically motivated, basically what it says is that the president, in this case, did something that he knew was wrong because he felt like politically he was pressured into doing it. And, and I'll tell you, <laughs> I could go off on a very long rant here. I, I, well, actually, not that long. I got 38 seconds. Um, but I will say, the degree to which you denigrate politicians undermines the confidence in everything we do here. Whether you're a Republican, Democrat, conservative, wherever you are, you get into office, you try to do something, everyone says that's just politics. And it undermines everything we try to do here. So for this committee to say we're going to question the political motivations of the president in making what was clearly a gut-wrenching policy decision, I adamantly oppose as taking us in a direction that this committee should not go. Mr. Gates. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thou, thou doth protest a bit much on, on Amazon. Uh, I also oppose my colleague, Mr. Jackson. If the gentleman will yield, uh, no, I think it was I, much, I, I, much I, I, more I the spirit of just a Mr. Spartan Chairman, I would very much anyway, like to do what you have suggested and substantively respond to my colleague's amendment. And I join you in opposing it, actually, because I don't think it, it, the uh, Inspector General's office is equipped to assess political motivations. And to the extent that anyone would be, Every decision to go to or leave a war is inherently political. War is inherently political. So this would be uh, seemingly a waste of time. I've probably been the Republican on this committee who has most strongly supported President Biden's decision to leave Afghanistan. I think it was the right decision. The wrong decision was relying on the Afghan government to be in any way capable to maintain our equipment, to keep our equipment, to uh, ensure safe departure of Americans or SIVs and to deploy the American cash that we left there, both in accounts and in currency, for the benefit of the Afghan people, rather than merely running out of the country like a bunch of bandits with whatever they could steal. I don't think that requires an assessment of President Biden's political motivations. President Biden has said as vice president, as a candidate, that he wanted to end this war. President Trump wanted to end this war. I think, I think there are plenty of ways to do after action analysis like the Crow Amendment does, but it's just my opinion, having read a great deal of Inspector General reports during my time in Congress, that that is not, not well suited for that office. And, and I would yield my remaining uh, 30 seconds to the chairman to respond <laughs> to what he perceives as an ad hominem. That's fine. Not, not, not worth it. I was just kind of kidding. Not, not a serious point there. Uh